Well, good morning and or good afternoon, depending on when you are getting a chance to see this. This would be Thursday, October 2nd. Are you surprised to be hearing from me? I wish you could be seeing me, but this was the best I could do for today. I'm deciding to try and use technology to help you deal with my absence. Hopefully, you have gone through and picked up the three handouts from my desk, the ones that it says right through here. If you have not picked up those three handouts from my desk, please make sure you go and see the sub so that you have those, because you will need them for today. Also, as it says right down here, they have five days until the book report comes due. And so with that, just to make sure we can point this out, I will point it to you. We have five days until the book report comes due. If you brought it with you today, you cannot turn it in. You'll have to wait till tomorrow. Do not give it to the sub because the sub will not be responsible for it. If you want, you are more than welcome to put it onto my back counter, and that would be in this area that is back over there, uh, where that light area is, and you are more than welcome to put it over there on that back counter, but I am not responsible for it. If it disappears before tomorrow, you are out of luck. My recommendation is to take it home, and I'll be more than happy to take it from you then. I will be back tomorrow. I will not let my case of zombieism knock me out for more than a single day. I found a picture of the tie I was going to wear today. I actually have this tie. And so this would be for today, if you are wanting to see, take a look at it. It is a beautiful and wonderful tie. We have an adorable lion down there, an adorable lion up there. I can even bring this tie in if you would like, but this was the magic of Google. I found this on eBay. I want you guys to miss out if you are wanting to guess. Make sure that you put your guess into the tie game box if you guess, but do realize with everyone trying to now guess for today, you are in a competition with everyone else, and only one of you can win, so keep that in mind. Things that we are going to have to work on for today. Well, first off, and most important, you are going to try and deal with the regret that my awesome technology idea did not do what I wanted it to do. I had a PowerPoint that we were going to go through, and I was going to teach you all about idioms, and it was wonderful and beautiful, but unfortunately, this technology does not let me do PowerPoints the way I wanted to. So... I didn't want to rob you of the joy of my beautiful PowerPoint. So we will have to move things around. Tomorrow, we will be doing our idioms. So tomorrow is when we'll take a look at idioms, not today. I will have to move our note-taking over until next week. It's a small sacrifice, but it won't be a big thing. So this will be tomorrow, just so we are aware. I will move it one day. What you're going to do today to help you out, I decided to let you read the bullying story handouts. They are going to be on your nine weeks assessment for Monday. You will have to read, you have two handouts, you can go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, I wish I could show you a picture of them, instead I will show you a picture of this, which is almost the exact same thing. You will have handout number one that has the stories from Nick that we... Um, I think that's pretty close. Um, that stories from his background and his life, and you are more the you're going to have to read those different informations. Uh, informations, forgive me. You're going to have to read that information from him. Also, there is going to be the second story that you're going to have to read, and the second story that you're going to have to read is the other handout, which is a blog post, and it is also going to be a story about bullying. You're going to have to read all four of those stories for the assessment on Monday. And what you're going to have to do on Monday is you're going to be writing an essay where you're going to have to go through and compare those. You are more than welcome to write up anything you want on those handouts. Anything you write on there you can use to help you. So I highly recommend you go through and break it up as much as you can. I cannot give you too much about what you're going to write about aside from saying that you're going to be doing a comparison between them where you're going to have to use information from one handout and apply it to another. 
So you're going to have to use information from one story, and you're going to have to show how it works into one of the other stories. So make sure you have read them and are familiar with them. So my goal today is to give you time to go through and read them so that you don't have to worry about homework for later. I planned on making it homework, but technology thwarted me, so I guess you have lucked out in that area. If you get the bullying stories read, then go ahead and work on the poetry homework for next week. I have not had a chance to hand back the quizzes to you, but you should already know what your uh, grade is going to be, so you can go ahead and start working on those. If you got the high enough score and you are wanting to just tape them in, you can always work on the homework to go ahead and get it done and out of the way. But that is up to you if that is something that you are wanting to do. But I recommend that you get the poetry homework done to save time so I don't have to torture you. And if you get all that done and you still have time before we go to over to the book fair, then you're more than welcome to go ahead and read your book report book. Hopefully you got my Remind 101 that I sent out this morning telling you to bring something to read to class. If you didn't, then I apologize. There's only so much I can do to help you. My main thing I would tell you to do is to uh, sign up for Remind 101. And if you have not signed up for Remind and you're not sure how to do it, go to my website, uh, mrbroviak.com, and that will tell you how to sign up, and then you wouldn't have to worry about these issues in the future. After all that is done, um, what we're going to have you do is we're going to be heading over to the book fair. When we're at the book fair, you can go ahead and leave all of your stuff in my classroom because you'll be coming back over here when you get dismissed. When you head into the book fair, you may wander around to take a look and see what it is that you would like. If there's nothing you would like, you can just sit in the chairs over to the side. Once you do purchase something, then you will have to leave the book fair area. They won't let you take purchased items back in there because some kids do this thing called shoplifting. And even though I know my students are good and would never do that because you all are uh, good kids smiley face. Other kids would, and they will yell at you, and I don't want you to get yelled at. So once you buy something, you're going to have to leave that area. Or you can just sit in those chairs off to the side. You'll be over there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the time is up, you'll come back over to my room, and you'll have the rest of the time to do what you did before, working on the poetry homework, reading the stuff, stuff like that. Tomorrow, we will be working on the don't be an idiot stuff, uh, just to let you know. So the handout you got, which says the don't be an idiom assignment, hold on to that until tomorrow. I will explain what we are going to be doing. That is an assignment, but it will not be assigned today. It will be assigned tomorrow instead, and we will get a chance to go over it. So do not lose it. If you lose it, you will have to purchase a new one from me. All right, real quick, I wanted to try an idea I had. I don't know how well this will work, but I have high hopes. I'm going to see if I can draw an adorable little puppy. Let's see, uh, there's a puppy dog. We're going to give it nice little ears, and there's the top to it there. Uh, just roll with me on my adorable puppy dog, because I think it's going to look good. Let's give little puppy dog a tail, uh, and we're going to give it feet. Um, I don't, I don't know what this little area is right here, so let's pretend that's not there. And that will be my adorable puppy dog. Then, I'm going to see if I can work um, a magic spell on it. If I can use my special wand and shake it around, I'm going to see if I can make my puppy dog become a better picture. One, two, three. And it is now a much better picture. Yay on that. What's that you say? You think I can do it even better? Let's find out. Uh, magic wand. One, two, three. Better picture. Aha! And there's a spooky dog for you. Now, one last thing I have for you after I did my magic trick to see if it would work, because that just entertained me is to remind you to behave, make good choices while you are reading. You cannot move around during this time because we have a sub, so you are out of luck. You'll have to stay in your seats. I apologize. You're more than welcome to yell at me tomorrow. If you make poor choices and talk 
while the sub is here, then it will cost you points. Those of you who are supposed to be standing for me, you do get to sit for today. Enjoy it. Those of you who are supposed to be serving detentions for me, that'll be put off until tomorrow. So I apologize for not getting a chance to torture you. I know it makes you sad, but we'll have to put that off. You'll just have to get a chance to sit and read and act like normal children. And remember, the poor choices you make will cost you points. So as long as you have your name for whatever reason, then that costs you the behavior points for tomorrow. So do not give me a reason to be mean to you. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I will be back alive, and I will no longer be a zombie. And I'm no longer being no zombie teacher. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.